morning, Mark. Morning. First of all, um, we'll get to the game in a second if you don't mind. Your reaction to the announcement this morning about the five-year deal at the stadium? Good news, isn't it? Yep, really pleased with it. I think um, finally it's uh, it, it, it's done and we can we can move forward. So it, you know, it gives us a bit of stability. You know, I think that the. There's been a lot of work going on behind the scenes for a while and uh, thankfully they've got it over the line and yeah, really, uh, really pleased that that's done and we can we can just move forward in a, in a way that we anticipated we could. Yeah, and, and on that basis, the fact that you are going to have a huge crowd, everything that comes with the occasion as well, it, it, it doesn't need the build-up, does it? Because it's, it's all there in front of everybody. Well, it's brilliant. I mean, if you just said at the start of the season when we were going through that horrendous time, you know, not too long ago, seems like an age and an eternity ago now. But you know, the fact that we were bottom of the league mid mid October and um, you know, not too far away from the bottom of the league um, going into Christmas, you know, you you start to pull away in terms of that from the with the international break, but you still you're still way away from. You know what we're experiencing now, so it, it's it's a remarkable turnaround, and, and every credit should go to, uh, to to everybody connected with it, and, and particularly the players because they've just got on with the job and um, and, and produced performances, and, and alongside that, I always mention the supporters because they they're just you know it's instrumental. They're instrumental in what what happens on the pitch, and and that's. Um, brings me on nicely to tomorrow because of the crowd because of the size of the crowd and because of the the, the, the numbers that we have obviously we've got some um, a, a big number of Birmingham City fans which is which is fine they'll be noisy and, and like I say we'll have um, a big crowd I know they're going to get behind the players whether it's whether it's good it's indifferent or it's bad or whatever I have to get behind the players to make sure that we have a performance tomorrow and that's all it's about it's about getting a performance into the players there's nothing at stake other than three points for us we've got to focus on tomorrow if you look beyond it then you know you, you, you are in trouble you know so we can't do that everybody else can like I said before weeks ago that dare to dream you know people have done that the players have just got on with the jobs and they've picked up points through good performances and tomorrow's no different the only difference is there's going to be a bigger number of people cheering them on in the stadium so it's a it's a big big game there's no you know there's no getting away from that but it's the final it's the final home game of the season you always want to put a good performance in anyway there's three points at stake that's all it is for us and we need to just focus on that against a really a really decent side actually you know um, John Eustace has got them playing really well they've, they're, they're well drilled well coached they've got some talented players in the ranks you know they're, they're going to want they're going to want to come and spoil a party or a potential party that they may see so that you know that's the script for them that's that's down to them for us we've just got to focus on ourselves and find in a way of, of winning a football match it's as simple as that and whatever happens it'll be lovely to share a moment with the fans after the game this Saturday absolutely I mean it's, it's incredible that we're getting a you know as near to a full house as you can possibly get so everybody please stay off the pitch and we can we can show our appreciation to the supporters if they can do that for us that would be absolutely immense anybody thinking of running on the pitch don't you know that's I hate to see it. It's not for them to run onto the pitch. It isn't. That's for the players only, and the staff at times. But you know, we just want to pay our pay our thanks to the uh, to the supporters, the immense supporters that have followed us through throughout the season, and the ones that are coming tomorrow. Um, to make up those numbers, the incredible numbers, we've just got to make sure that we, uh, you know, like I say, we focus on our our own uh, jobs, which is the performance for for them tomorrow. Hi, uh, you're all right. Morning, Josh. Not too bad, you. Good, thanks. Good, good. Is there a part of you that that's kind of pinching yourself that that you're involved in this? For sure, yeah. I was I was going to mention that actually. It's like obviously being from Cov and growing up in Cov, and just to play a small part this year and pushing for the playoffs is it just feels so surreal. Um, I spoke to Jack the other day, and he's just like, yeah, just. It means a lot to us both, obviously, because we both support the club and we've come for the academy. So yeah, it's just it's just amazing to be fair. Um, how important do you think it is, though, Josh, to have I guess people like you and a few others around the place that for those guys who are not from Coventry, they're not from Warwickshire, they don't necessarily know entirely the history. To have people who, who feel it like you do, I'm pretty sure they feel the uh, the history of the club just by playing in front of the fans. The fans, like a lot of them, say that the best they played in front of. Um, but yeah, 
But, um, yeah, they, just, they know how much the club means to the players and how much it means to the fans. So all the players want to do is just, just do as hard as they can, work as hard as they can, just to to give the fans what they deserve, really. How do you get that focus for tomorrow, for, for everything that's going on around you, to play a 90 minutes and play for the three points? Just play it like every other game we've played this season. Um, play our own game. First and foremost, obviously we know it's going to be a big crowd tomorrow, but that doesn't change anything. Um, just, just important to just to to win the game. No matter how you win the game, as long as you win the game at the end of the day.